What is up you guys? For today's video we are going to be testing out the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Summer Collection and I'm so excited for this collection because I feel like it fits everybody's style. And the items that we are going to be trying out today is the brand new Shimmering Body Oil which I'm actually really excited for. You guys know me, I am pale as paper and a lot of times these like body oil type of products have a pigment to them and they can make me look like an overbaked roasted tier chicken so I'm really excited to see how this one works out. I also have the little mini lipsticks which aren't those cute? I just love the packaging of them. I love the white bullet with the gold accent. It's so pretty. And I also have the brand new pigments as well. So I cannot wait to share with you guys the look that we are going to be creating with these today. Off camera, I did already prime my eyelids and for the palette today, we are going to be going in with Soft Glam. I know you guys probably expected me to go in with color, but I just felt like doing a bronze look today. And the first shade that we are going to go into is this really nice kind of bone shade called Tempera. And then with this shade, I'm just going to use it to set my eyeshadow primer. I'm doing a really light dusting too, nothing crazy. So once you have your eyeshadow primer set, the next shade that we are going to go into is called Orange Soda. And then with this shade, I'm going to be applying it into my crease, into my outer V, and then blending it upwards towards my brow. And I'm doing like little circular motions to blend it upwards. And I'm really kind of like making it so like I'm building up that color, so I'm really making sure that there isn't much on my brush when I initially apply it. So once you have that applied, the next shade that we are going to go into is this really beautiful brown shade called Sienna. And then with this shade, I'm going to be applying it into my crease and into my outer V and blending it right into orange soda with these little circular motions. Seriously though, like this palette is blending out really nice. I've never used it, so it's like I don't know what to expect because I have, I've only swatched like maybe like three shades out of it just to kind of get like a vibe from it. But other than that, I have never played with it. But dang, I can see why a lot of people really enjoy this palette. Because it's so pretty. And once you have that all blended out, the next shade that we are going to go into is called Mulberry. And then using a Sigma E45, I'm just going to be applying this right into my crease doing a back and forth motion. And I'm also using it to kind of round out this outer V a little bit as well. And then after you are done doing that, I'm doing little circular motions now to blend it into everything else. This shade though is probably like my favorite in the palette though. I just love how it has like that kind of like rich kind of red look to it. It's so pretty. And then to even get a more further blend, I'm just going to take whatever is left on that Sigma E35 that we used to apply Sienna with. And I'm just doing little circular motions right over everything just to get everything a really nice gradient fade. So since we have our base eyeshadows on, now we can go in with the pigments. And I'm so excited about these. I mean like look at the little PR package. Isn't that adorable? And then when you pull the side, you can see all of the pigments. And the ones that I'm thinking about going in with today are the shade called Desert. I'll show you guys up close, get my camera to focus. But it's a really pretty like coppery gold shade. I really love this one. And I also think I'm going to go in with the shade called Sand. And this one is kind of more of a champagne kind of gold shade. It's super pretty as well. So I do want to go over the packaging of the pigments with you guys. And we are just going to unscrew the top. And what's really cool about these ones is they have like a little tab and then it has like a little bit kind of like a holder for the holes of the sifter. So you have to like shake this into like the lid or onto a palette or something. But I actually really like that because I don't like those kinds of pigments that have like the dip in with the sifter because I feel like they just kind of get like grimy and dirty. So I really actually like the packaging of this one. And with the Dampen Sigma E55, I'm just going to apply this to the lid. Seriously though, this pigment is gorgeous. I actually really like how it looks. I think it's very pretty. It has like a soft kind of vibe to it in my opinion. Like it has like a lot of shimmer to it, but it's not like glittery, if that makes sense. I could see this color being really good for like people that do bridal. Or if you really like like those soft kind of glam type of looks, I could see you really liking this color. I also wonder if this pigment would be a really beautiful highlight for deeper skin tones because it has like that kind of like natural kind of glow to it. It's super pretty. I could see it being gorgeous on the skin. So to help me soften the edges of the pigment, I'm just going to take a little bit more of Mulberry again on that Sigma E45. And I'm just going to do a really light kind of soft dusting on that harsh line of the pigment. I'm just doing ever so slightly. As you can see, like my hand on my brush is like really far back, so I don't have barely any pressure. And this will just give us a really nice soft effect and get rid of all those harsh lines and just make it look really nice and pretty. And I'm also kind of like flopping it inwards on the outer V as well. And I'm just like pushing my brush down and then like flicking it inwards. So once you have desert applied and blended out, the next pigment that we are going to go into is sand. And then with the Dampen Anastasia A13 brush, I'm just going to apply this to the center of my lid. So 
So this pigment in sand is very similar to that in desert where it has like that soft kind of shimmer vibe to it. It would be definitely very beautiful for a bridal kid or somebody that likes like that everyday glam type of vibe. And then off camera, I'm just going to apply my foundation and all of that. So here's where I'm at right now with the look. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of sienna on this pencil brush. And I'm just going to lightly apply this right underneath my lashes. So once you have the lower lash line smoked out, we are now going to go into this loose pigment called Crystal. I think it would be the most beautiful inner corner highlight. And then with this damp and luxe brush, I'm now going to apply this into my inner corner. And then for lips today, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Haze. For me personally, when I do a like bullet lipstick, I prefer to use them over a liquid lipstick. I find that liquid lipsticks give me like the best lip line ever, so I'm going to do that real quick off camera. As for the amount of lipsticks, I don't know which one I want to go in with, but isn't the packaging super cute on this set? I just love like the white with a gold accent. It is just perfect for summer. And then I'm just going to open this up. Also, this one has like a cute like little tab to it. So when you open it, it kind of has like a vibe to it. But I don't know which one I want to go in with. I was thinking coconut, but I'm not 100% sure. If I can get these open, that'd be nice. They're like really in there. And then this one is Orange Blossom. Ooh, that's really pretty. That is a vibe. I'm really kind of feeling that one almost. Like that in the center. Ooh, that'd be really, really pretty. Here is Leche. Kind of has like a kind of shimmer to it almost. It's really a beautiful color, but I wasn't expecting... It has like a shine to it almost. It's really interesting. I don't think I like that one though with this look. It's not my favorite. I mean, it's really pretty, but I just don't feel like it would go really well with like the vibe I'm going with. It's still really beautiful though. And then here's Guava. This one is really orange based. And for me personally, I don't like orange based lipsticks just because I feel like they make my teeth look super yellow. It's still a really beautiful shade though, but I can definitely tell this one is not for me. And then the last one that I have is coconut, and I'm really feeling this one. I really love coconut. Like, this color is just stunning. I'm probably going to go in with this one. I'm not 100% sure, but man, like, this one is a mood. And the last item that we are going to try out today is the Shimmering Body Oil, but isn't the PR package so cool? I really love gold glitter. It's so pretty. And this is what it looks like when you open it. And this is actually in a glass bottle too, which is really nice. And it is kind of like a spray bottle as well. Super pretty. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm actually really kind of skeptical of this product because I don't want to look like an overbaked rotisserie chicken. Like, I'm just not into that. And a lot of times, like, these types of products, like, they have like a pigment to them and they can make me look really orange or just make my skin look kind of weird because I'm so very fair. So I'm really hoping that this one works out because I tried out the Body Lava in um, Sephora the other day and that stuff made me look crazy. Like it just, I don't know what was about it, but it was like super sticky and it gave me like a weird cast on my skin. So I'm really hoping that this one works out for me. So I just zoomed out a little bit so I can show you guys when we are applying it, but I just want to give you kind of a heads up that all of these like little like red dots and like red marks are just from my nails and like moving my hair around and stuff like that. I have super sensitive skin and I also have eczema, so anytime I touch my skin I get like little red marks. So don't worry about it if you see it, it's just something that naturally happens with my skin. If you use this product, don't be like me and put your hair up because I definitely got it in my hair. Like, it is greasy. But that's definitely okay. Like, I've never used body oil before, so it was expected. But as you can see, it's really pretty on the skin. Like, it has, like, a nice, like, glow. And it's not, like, glittery. It has, like, a shimmer type of look to it. It's super pretty on the skin. And I will say, too, it's not sticky like body lava is either. It has, like, a, like, light oil feel to it. It doesn't feel like a really, like, heavy oil either. It just has, like, a nice kind of, like, light feeling to the skin. And also, the scent is not overpowering at all. I am so excited about that. It's, like, a kind of, like, coconut vanilla type of scent, but it's not like crazy scented either it's like a nice little hint so I'm just gonna put my lights down a little bit so you can kind of see it but as you can see here's the glow and my chest is red of course because I was trying to rub it in a little bit so disregard that 
but as you can see it's super pretty on the skin and then also I'm actually going to swatch it on my arm for you oh shit why'd I do it in front of my face <laughs> so I'm gonna be like a glowy mess but as you can see it it's super pretty on the skin let's see there we go now it's finally focusing but as you can see it doesn't have like a crazy amount of shimmer to it either it's like a nice hint it's like the perfect amount so I turned on my phone's flashlight, and I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer better, but isn't that so pretty? I love how it looks. It's gorgeous. And then here's what it looks like on my skin with the light. Super pretty. And you can definitely see I got it in my hair. And I even put dry shampoo in, and this stuff has, like, no hope. So if you, like, use it, make sure you put your hair up or, like, out of the way or have, like, a towel on your hair because you don't want to be like me. But yeah, so here is the finished look, and honestly, I actually really enjoy how it turned out. I think it's super pretty and just very, like, summery and just kind of like a soft glam type of look. Definitely something that I normally wouldn't do, but either way, I still think it's really beautiful. And then with that said, I do want to share with you guys my thoughts and opinions about each of the products that we use today. So first things first, let's go over the pigments, and when I first saw these, I had no idea what to expect because pigments for me are one of those products I never gravitate towards. I find that they're very messy and they can be very finicky to use, however, these ones are so easy and so nice. If you are even a beginner that has never used a pigment before, you could easily use these. I will say though, the colors of this set aren't like revolutionary colors, however, if you are something that likes like that like soft glam type of look, you will love them, or if you are a makeup artist and you do bright clients. And then right here I'm going to insert some swatches of the pigments. Desert, sand, daiquiri, crystal, icy. As for the matte lipstick set, I really enjoy the color that I use, coconut. I think it's super pretty. And also the packaging of this is gorgeous. I really cannot get over the matte white kind of like lipstick tube with the gold accent. I think it's super pretty. I will say though, I'm not the biggest fan of the shades in this one because personally for me, I don't wipe my teeth, nor do I have like really kind of like tan skin. So sometimes orange kind of base shades kind of look a little weird on me or they make my teeth look really yellow. So I'm not the biggest fan of all of the shades in here. I will swatch them though really quick for you guys just in case you are curious. Guava, coconut, orange blossom, leche. Oop, I got that one wrong. There we go. And last but not least, the Shimmering Body Oil. For me personally, products like this are not something that I gravitate towards. I don't wear body oils, nor do I wear like glitter on my chest. It's just not my style. However, if you are into those types of products, you will really enjoy this one, I feel. It's not like sticky or tacky on the skin. It has like a nice kind of like light oil feel to it. And it feels really hydrating and moisturizing. And also the shimmer in here is not glitter by no means. It's like a nice kind of like light shimmer too. It's not like overpowering. It's super pretty on the skin. And I will say say too if you are as fair as I am it won't make you look darker than you are it won't give you like any pigment to your skin it just makes it look like you have like a nice healthy glow to it and if you are also darker in skin tone I feel like it would look really nice on you as well not to mention this stuff smells amazing like it really really smells good it smells like summer like it has like that light like vanilla coconut scent to it but it doesn't smell like sunscreen it has just like a really nice scent to it and it's not overpowering by no means I could literally like sit here and smell it all day because it smells amazing the bottle on this one is bougie as fuck because if you look at it it just has like that vibe to it it looks kind of like a perfume bottle in a way with like the glass bottle with like the gold accents with a really pretty top to it it's just really pretty i could see it being really gorgeous on a vanity too but yeah so in the comments down below let me know if you are going to pick up any of these items in this collection i would love to hear what you guys think about it as well and as always i would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button down below and if you would like to follow me on instagram my instagram account is at lethal underscore kitten i hope you guys have a wonderful day and until next time bye